Happy Flannel Friday, fellow fishing friends. I have an exciting video for you today. I am going to be unboxing my second Sixth Sense garage sale sack. The, after I did the first video, the first unboxing video of the sack that I bought, I decided I wanted another one. So I went, um, went to the Sixth Sense website and they were out of stock. And I was kind of bummed about that because normally when they go out of stock, they go out of stock for quite a while. And then one of my viewers was nice enough to post a message and say, hey, I just ordered one because they came back in stock. And that got me really excited. So I ordered another garage sale sack just to see uh, if I would be as lucky as I was the first time around. Um, just as a reminder, the first time around, if you didn't watch the first video, um, I bought a garage sale sack for $99 plus shipping and taxes. Um, and the total value of that box, if I looked up all the pricing for the six cents lures, um, the total value for that box was $213. So, you know, double, a little over double the value of my money. And I thought, you know what, let's see if I can do that again. So let's take a look and see how we did. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you that I am excited to see that I got another bait bag. Um, I have, so the last Six Sense Garage Sale sack that I purchased, it came in a bag like this instead of their normal velour sack, which was awesome because I really needed a bait bag. Um, I filled it up with about half of my soft plastics, and it looks like I'll be filling this one up with the other half of my soft plastics. Now let's take a look at how I did. What did I get? Ooh. So right off the bat, I see some soft plastics in here. Um, normally when you get a garage sale sack, these are one-off colors or custom colors. You know, they did a run of custom colors for somebody and uh, they had some leftovers or, you know, whatever their reason is. So the first item today is a Bongo 3.7. And the color looks to be kind of like a lighter watermelon, um, almost a, like a grub insect color um, with a little bit of, of blue, blue and gold sparkles in it. I actually kind of like that. Um, so the Bongo 3.7 is kind of a craw trailer grub that you could toss on the back of a jig or a spinnerbait if you want to. Um, probably use these on a jig for catching bass. Yeah, pretty nice. So the Bongo normally retails for, uh, give me a second here while I reference my spreadsheet. Bongo normally goes for $5.99 for a pack. Looks like I did pretty good. Next out of the sack is the Glitch 3.8. I've watched the videos on the Glitch and I've been kind of excited. I haven't fished with the Glitch before. Um, you know, if you want to do a drop shot, uh, something like that. Um, the glitch has a, a really unique little action the way that it's shaped. Um, it's got quite the little wiggle jiggle to it. So this color looks like a um, almost a darker watermelon with some blue sparkles. Back in the back in the day, we would have called this a motor oil color simply because that was the terminology used. The Glitch has a pair of little buggy eyes that stick out of it and a kind of a bulbous tail, which gives it an extra little wiggle that uh, part in the middle, I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's got a thinner part of the tail right there. And that allows that bulbous end to kind of wiggle and jiggle if you're doing a drop shot or, or you're jigging it up and down. Next out, sweet. We got the Axel Swinging Swim Jig. Um, the axle jig, let's see if I can get that, make sure it's in focus for you. Uh, axle jig is, uh, the way that hook is set up. As you can see, it's not weedless, but once you rig it with a trailer like that Bongo 3.7, um, it becomes weedless and the way the hook is positioned in comparison to the head, that hook almost sets itself. When that fish bites down, that hook will almost set itself color on this one is black bluegill. Um, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a custom painted head, kind of a bluegill with a 
black and blue skirt on it and a nice size six aught hook. Very nice. Next out of the bag, man, that bag is full, is a six cents braid swim jig, three eighths ounce. I've looked at these, reviewed these before. It's a weedless jig, uh, great for tearing through grass. The color on this one says bluegill fire. Not quite sure that's bluegill fire. Uh, sometimes with a garage sale sack, you'll get a mislabeled item or a mis mislabeled lure. So I'm, I'm wondering if that bluegill fire should really be uh, like a black and blue color with the bluegill on it. Ah, excellent. Another braid swim jig. Uh, this one is 3 8 ounce also weedless. Uh, yeah, so this one says black and blue senses on it. So I'm wondering if that's what the other jig is. And this one is, in fact, the uh, bluegill fire. Um, so that's all right. I don't care either way. The fish aren't going to care as long as I fish it in the right kind of water and put the right kind of uh, trailer on it. Tice them in. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Crush 50X next out of the box. That colorway is the Lava Truce. Um, so I don't know if you could see it, but the very bottom, you've got a nice strip of chartreuse, and then it fades up into kind of a craw color uh, with a bronze back on it. Anywhere that you fish that has a little bit cloudy water, those brighter colors will pop, or they have crawfish. Um, this would be a great one for used in stained water in a stained water river. Um, I'm thinking of a specific river that I would fish this at or, or lake with that same kind of color um, to the water. That's where I would fish this. Very nice. Next up, a Quake 80. So the Quake 80 is a little bit of an unusual uh, lipless crankbait. So if you notice, your tie-on point is not at the nose of the bait, but it's on the back of the bait. So that gives it a head down, kind of an aggressive action to it. Um, the color on this, let's see if you can get that in focus, is 4K bluegill. So that's a uh, very lifelike, very realistic bluegill coloration on it. Um, so if you're fishing this and the bluegill spawn, when the baby bluegill are about that size, you are catching a lot of fish. Next up, a Crush 100S Silent. Beautiful bait. Color is Bluegilla, so just a little bit different than the 4K Bluegill. The Crush 100 Silent, um, you know, if you're crashing through thick cover, rocks, twigs, snags, that sort of thing, um, this works out very well. It's a silent bait, so if you're not if you're having issues getting bites on a rattle bait, uh, perhaps it's too noisy and the fish want something that's uh, silent. So that's where I would fish this. And another Crush 100S Silent. This colorway is Jaint Juice. I'm not quite sure what a jaint is or how you juice it, uh, but that's what the color is. It's got a kind of a pearlescent purple back on it. And it fades into a chartreuse and then a pearl white belly with a nice bright red eye. I would guess kind of a shad color. Um, so, you know, fish where the bait fish are present. If you've got a, a couple school of bait fish swimming around and you can see that, I would toss uh, this lure into the middle of that and pull it out and see if you can't get a, a big bass on the side. That 100 size, the 100 um, is, I think, the largest in the Crush series. That 100 size is great for catching bigger fish. If you're looking for bigger fish, uh, toss a bigger bait. All right. So here's the next size down. This is a Crush 50S Silent. So that's the 50 size. And this color is Chartreuse Pro Blue. So you've got your Chartreuse side. Obviously your highlight, uh, pearl white belly with a little bit of a an orange pink near the mouth. And your back is a... Uh, blue scale design. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera, if the camera catches that or not. Uh, black eye on this one. Good bait. I like the... 
So when I go fishing, if I, if I know that a certain color is going to do well, I will grab the two or three different sizes of that bait. Uh, if you don't get a hit on a larger size, size down and see what happens. Sometimes, for whatever reason, they're biting on the smaller fish. If they think the smaller fish are slower or uh, taste better, I you know, I don't know. But for some reason, if you're out there fishing and you're not getting any hits on your larger baits, size down a little bit, use the same color and see what happens. So all of these baits are generally used for bass fishing, largemouth and smallmouth, uh, but I, I believe they target the largemouth most of all, you can use these baits to sometimes get pike, uh, but their their big their main focus is uh, bass. Oh, nice! This is a Thud seventy half ounce. So the Thud seventy has that same tie off point, perhaps even a little bit further back than the Quake. Uh, this colorway is boiled crawfish. So crawfish is not having a very good day, I guess. Uh, bright orange, great for stained water, cloudy days where you need to get some color out there, let the fish see it. Um, some people will fish this on a brighter day. Um, I like to go with the brighter colors on a darker day. For whatever reason, it seems to, seems to be good luck for me. So that's what I do. Very nice to get a thud though. I'm happy about that. I did not get a thud the last time, I don't think. Man, the baits just keep coming out of this bag. Uh, next is a Crush 50X. So that's got a bit of a rattle to it. Um, I like that colorway, that kind of a light bronze back with the scales. Fades into a purple with a chartreuse line. And then you have a uh, pearl white underbelly with just some hints of orange near the mouth. A gold eye on it. Very nice shiner looking color. Um, they call this color uh, Wild Shad. So... There you go, shad kind of color, mid-sized bait, makes some noise, bounce it off the rocks, off the bottom, off a cover, um, get some fish. Next up, an Axis Metal 2.0, and this color is black and blue craw. Um, I like these colors. I've, I've got another lure or two in that black and blue colorway. I did not have... Uh, axis in that. The axis is unique with its swimming action because it actually pivots on the lip. So the lip is metal. You tie off on the lip. The lip, uh, the, the bait rotates off of the lip. It's got a rattle to it, so it makes a lot of noise. It's got a wild action in the water. I mean, just crazy. Um, you know, I would fish this in a bright sunny day or a dark day. And I would not hesitate to toss this bait um, through grass, uh, boy, pretty much anywhere. Um, I really, I like that color and I like the style. It's got a little bit of a white underbelly to it. Can't really see that in the, in the camera, but um, that little bit of white on the underbelly will catch uh, the attention of fish underneath of it. Uh, so don't be afraid to toss it in deeper water. And I think that noise and that action will bring them up. Oh, nice. So this is a speed wake, uh, seven eighths ounce. Color is Live Shiner. So very nice, very nice gold color. It's got a, a dark blue back on it. Big reflective eyes. I really like that. Uh, with an orange highlight around the eyes, a little orange spot just on the other side of the gill, and some really shiny scale patterns on the back. I don't know what they use for that. If that's just a polished paint or if it's um, an applied decal. Regardless, uh, the Speedway is a nice uh, nice bait. has a lot of action to it. Um, a lot of movement. See that there. Yeah. Creates a lot of surface wake. Next up is a Crush flat 75x so it's got a rail to it uh, the color on this is the brown eye special uh, but the eye on it is bright red it's got a dark red underbelly fades into a yellow color then it fades up to the orange in the back and up to a really dark brown almost black back on it um, crawfish color obviously uh, use that to bang around rocks anywhere that you've got crayfish present as a bait for the fish to eat very nice to see one of those. I think I had one of those in my other sack as well. 
that might go towards a, um, a giveaway on my Patreon site. Next up, we have a Topwater uh, 5 8 ounce Catwalk Jerk Bait in color Clearwater Rose. Very nice. Uh, so it's a, it's a walking bait. Um, you know, throw that Topwater bait, jerk it. It's got some... It's got some rattles to it. It's got some action to it. Um, you know, anywhere you toss a topwater bait, uh, that colorway I have not seen before. I'm not sure how well that's going to work in the lakes that I fish, uh, but I'll give it a shot and see. Sometimes if you're fishing in an area that's pressured and the fish get used to seeing certain colors, uh, you're better off tossing an unusual color they haven't seen before. I might mistake it for a giant worm or a snake. I, you know, I don't know what a fish thinks, but if you use, if, if they're getting pressured and everybody's using the same, you know, realistic bluegill, realistic shiner, realistic craw, uh, toss something different. Like this uh, little bit of gold on the nose with some uh, pink on the back and kind of a pearlescent underbelly. Go for it. See what happens. All right. Oh, that's unusual. So this is a second catwalk. Uh, basically the same bait. Very nice. You got two of those. Sweet. So that might also go towards a Patreon subscriber. Um, we'll have to, to see uh, what level we put that at, but uh, very nice. Holy smokes, that's a lot, of, a lot of lures in this bag. This is a Crush 50X. Uh, that colorway is Wild Shad, so it's obviously shad color. Nice scale pattern on it. And that the bronze scale back, shiny side, got the chartreuse line down the middle. Um, you know, a nice big buggy eye on it. Anywhere you're going to be fishing a square bill crankbait. Next up, I just dropped it. This is the Curve Finesse Square Bill. And the colorway on this one is Crimson Craw. I really like the Curve series. They've got a nice action. They fish really well. Um, I've had good luck catching largemouth on these. Um, I've even caught an aggressive sunfish on one of these before. Uh, yeah, even a rock bass, if I remember correctly. Pulled a rock bass out, run the red eye rock bass. So very nice colorway. Um, very realistic, big black buggy eye. Very nice. Next out of the bag, a trace, six inch swim bait. This is a floating, holy smokes, these are like $35 baits. Let's see if I can't get that open real quick so you can take a look at it. The color on this one is 4K bluegill. So again, that super realistic bluegill color. That's a big bait. So that is uh, two ounces, I believe. Comes with an extra tail. Um, it's kind of a, it's a very stretchy plastic and uh, it's got a locking feature on it. So if you do lose the tail to a fish, uh, that spare tail locks on there pretty easily and pretty tight. Last but not least out of the bag, it's another trace. Uh, this is a trace six inch fast sinking swim bait so the other one's a floating this is a fast sinking this colorway is gold reactor holy smokes that looks like a big gold shiner very nice big buggy eye um, so it's a fast sinking so you can get it down there really deep if you need to or you want to i would actually be targeting large mouth bass big ones um, pike and even musky with this. It's a smaller bait for a musky, but um, sometimes you can you can get the musky up and, and get them to bite a bait like that. All right, so overall, we did pretty well. I counted, including the sack and the soft baits, something like 20, I don't know, 20 some different baits. Um, I did a total of the, the retail value I went through as we were Going through this, I had my assistant adding them up. 
actually looking them up on the Sixth Sense website, adding up the dollar amounts. Um, the total value of this bag was $257.56. Holy smokes, that's a bargain. Um, I have not been disappointed in either one of the garage sale sacks that I bought. If you're looking for the highest dollar value from Sixth Sense, obviously go with a bundle, go with a garage sale sack if you don't care. If you're not looking for a specific style of bait, obviously you saw the, you know, I got a fairly, fairly wide range of baits out of this sack. So, um, you know what, I wouldn't be afraid to pull the trigger. That is an outstanding value. That's all I got for you today. If you like what you saw, please leave a like down below, maybe even subscribe. That's a different button. And you hit the little bell, the little dingy bell that you see, that little symbol, and that'll give you alerts every time I upload a video. I generally do one video or two videos every Friday and maybe um, a short during the week. I have a Patreon account if you would like to help support because I am spending my own money here. I am not um, not sponsored by Sixth Sense. I'm not sponsored by any of the companies that you see uh, videos from me on. So, you know, I'm paying full retail. I'm having it shipped to me. I'm showing it to you. And I'm hoping that you're getting some value out of this. Uh, leave a comment below if you liked it. Leave a comment below if you didn't like it. Let me know what you didn't like. And I can try and change it for the future to make it uh, better for everybody. Overall, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you next week.